to coming back for Korea. It's a couple, I think the, the last time when I visited the, uh, Korea, it's uh, 2014. Uh, we had a very uh, enjoyed talk about uh, the Jedi. However, this time, when I get an invitation, and they're asking, hey, uh, can you bring the something else? I said, uh, yes, what's your favorite uh, uh, talk wanted to listen? Uh, they tried to look at the market, and nowadays we have a little bit problem for the synthetic diamond, and also we have a, uh, some gemstone need to do the geological origin determination, and this kind of a lot of research uh, we are doing every day, just like a routine. As I'm working in uh, Japan more than uh, 23 years now, uh, I graduated from uh, Beijing University in geology, and after that, I write uh, coming to the uh, Kyoto University to coming to my uh, master and uh, PhD, uh, doing the diamond twin research. And after that, I joined the largest uh, gem lab in Tokyo and uh, doing a lot of research for color stone and diamond and uh, organic gemstone as well. Um, and uh, later then, I opened the GI Tokyo lab uh, in uh, Tokyo, uh, this is 2012. And now, as a, I'm, I have a, uh, so my company, Tokyo Gem Science, and uh, working with the GES TV, one of the professional gem channel to check the whole production. Uh, so today, I try to uh, give you a little bit of background for the synthetic diamond, and the new information for the manufacturer, and uh, the current situation of the gem market as well. And the diamond, you know, that's just formed by the carbon. Carbon has different phases. It's depending on the temperature and the pressures. Usually, we have a, such a, you'll see this, uh, the carbon has covalently bound in each other to form the tetra form, tetrahedral form, to make this uh, diamond form. The energy between the carbon and carbon is extremely high, and the distance is very short. That's why diamond have like a structures like a mountain. However, graphite, the thin of this M pencil, you use the graphite, that is like a layer by layer by layer is formed by the carbon. So different phases, and uh, you will see a um, very complicated phase. Normally, when you have a fire in the home, your diamond can be lost. If there's fire up to the 800 degree, the diamond can definitely become the gas, like a carbon dioxide. You cannot never find the liquid of the, sub, the carbon. If you heat the graphite up to 4,000 degree, you finally get the liquid situation of carbon. Natural diamond, However, you need the very high temperature, high pressure. I will tell the ladies, you are so lucky to get the diamond. Normally, on the Earth's surface, we never can get the diamond. Because natural diamond is stable at the high temperature and high pressure. It's below 100 kilometers to 700 kilometers depth. So we have uh, one kind of uh, magma that's called kimberlite that bring up the diamond to the Earth's surface with a speed like a Shinkansen bullet train. Extremely high the magma it explodes to the surface. Then the natural diamond cannot be dissolved in a short time. That's why, ladies, it's possible to get the natural diamond. And uh, since the diamond, absolutely similar with natural diamond by the physical, chemical, optical purpose. Because this is just made by the carbon. So uh, it's definitely the several makers, they start uh, from the 50s, right after the Second World War, and they start to try to make this uh, man-made material. There's a Sweden and a US company, they create the first synthetic diamond in this world. And later than General Electric, 
they tried to improve the quality. They made the gem quality for the market, but we didn't see, we didn't see any production on the market until the Sumitomo. Sumitomo is one of the largest gem material and the industrial material in Japan. They also created a, a lot of synthetic diamond. However, that's all for industry. No gem, no anymore. They created all different color, blue, yellow, and a colorless diamond, and they sent the sample to GIA for research. And the Debius, in the same time, they do create the synthetic diamond to show their capability. And the uh, 1990s, that is a dramatic change. The first time to see the synthetic diamond from the Russia. And uh, later then, Genesis, also a US company, they produce the such gem quality to the market. And uh, later then, Chazam. Chazam also sells the synthetic diamond and also synthetic color stone as well. And now, we have a lot of production from the China, and uh, it shows up in Tucson Show in the US. That's a little bit problem for that. And I show the first picture. This is the first production from the Russia. This is a, shows up on the gem market. And a very nice, intense yellow color, and they have a small size and a large size like that, and all properties is similar with natural. They call lab-grown diamond. And uh, normally, diamond, it's formed in the metal flux. Why diamond can be formed in the metal? You never think about that. Because the graphite only can be melt in the metal flux. If you heat that one, it's very immediately changed carbon dioxide. If you wanted to melt it, become the liquid phase of the graphite, you have to put it in the metal flux, like iron, nickel, and cobalt. That's why there is a huge instrument. This is a 30,000 ton, the huge instrument. It's a higher than three, three person high, and a big belt inside. And uh, inside, we have a very hardest diamond on the top, and uh, there's one small capsule inside. And this is one of the illustration for the synthetic diamond cells. This is uh, one heater, and here's a heater also. And uh, there's a four important part I need to explain. Please remember, it will be shown on your test. Here, first one, it's graphite. You, have, you, you need as a source to use graphite, very pure. Sometimes made by natural graphite, sometimes made by your hair, sometimes made by your bone. Very pure carbon, they need. And second, here we have uh, the metal flux, as I explained. The iron, nickel, cobalt, the liquid situation is here. And we put one of the seed crystal at the bottom, so the carbon heat by this and get the pressure and it can be, become the liquid phase of the carbon and it gradually crystallize on the top of the sea crystal. And uh, this is much smaller instrument from the Russia. It's a totally different shape with Japanese one and uh, they show the more sphere shape and uh, the cubic inside and uh, they use five to six gigapascal. Do you know the high, high, high for, for the pr pressure? Five to six gigapascal, you can never imagine that. Normally it's uh, like a 150 kilometers of the depth of the earth. Or just like one jumbo airplane put on your finger. This high pressure can create the diamond. And uh, this is different morphology. Usually we see the natural diamond. Mostly they show this octahedron crystal form. Synthetic diamond, mostly they show cubic octahedron. So normally if you 
observe, you look at the natural diamond between the synthetic, much easy to separate from this, uh, their surface structure from this natural one. However, after the cut, oh, no way. It's uh, something else. So this is a, you see the synthetic diamond, they can make a very fancy yellow color, fancy orange color, and uh, this is a m synthetic blue diamond. They intentionally dope the borom inside to make a blue, like a hope diamond for the natural. And uh, also they can make this natural colorless, but take uh, one month to create this colorless because the growth rate is very slow, the yellow one more faster, like one week. And uh, they try to make a similar color as a natural diamond. However, to create the pink or uh, other color, they need more treatment, like irradiation and uh, heat annealing after the, the growth process to make an old fancy color like this. And as we see such a fancy, vivid yellow-orange color on the market nowadays, now it's become the 10 carat large. And we see the, a lot of a small stone, many size. And it looks like an industrial diamond. However, they show the more transparency and uh, mounted on the jewelry. And uh, synthetic diamond normally they show the yellow color like this. This is a four type of diamond. Please remember, diamond have a four types. The first, if the diamond includes the minor amount of the nitrogen, one nitrogen replaced one of the carbon to form this yellow. Natural diamond also, they form, start to this 1B, like this, under the earth. So synthetic diamond, they also start with the same process. And uh, gradually, when you heat up, then nitrogen can get together, aggregated, to form 1A. The color becomes more lighter. So uh, we see the 99% of natural diamond, like this type. Synthetic diamond is majorly the 1B. And we have other two without any nitrogen like a type 2A, we call type 2A diamond. The price is higher than type 1A diamond, higher than this, because it's extremely rare. You find a one piece from 10,000 of diamond. And the color is really pure. And we call this one no nitrogen type 2A diamond. And if you intentionally dope the boron inside, they can form as a natural, like a hope diamond or whistle diamond in the Washington, in the Smithsonian Museum, you will see the natural blue. However, the artificial synthetic diamond can be created the same color as well. Just to show you a couple uh, website, you directly to visit the website to look at the Genesis. They are selling mostly like fancy yellow color, up to four carat. This company is very honest to give a full, full disclosure, to say my diamond is a synthetic. And uh, they do the inscription on the girdle. 100% disclosure on the market. And uh, you will see the genesis. Sure, they sell the blue, pink, and the yellow. And uh, around uh, the two carat, lower than uh, Gemesis, and uh, they also sell the other synthetic, like a synthetic emerald, synthetic ruby, they're selling the together, and uh, they do this uh, full disclosure and make inscription on the girdle as well. This is very honest, that's good. And uh, the company from the Netherlands, they start a little bit later, I think that it start from 2014, they try to make a more colorless. And uh, they also have some fancy yellow, orange, and blue, like this. Normally size is below this uh, 1.5 carat. And uh, they sell the near colorless. The price, it's uh, 15 or 40% less of natural diamond. 
even not coming to half price for the natural, is still high, I think. And uh, every day in my lab, I check, check out the synthetic diamond. Mostly it's all in the melee size. As I definitely sure this kind of small synthetic diamond all from China. So they never give your disclosure. They never have an inscription on the stone. The old stone synthetic diamond, when they made, send it to India. The India small family kids to cut the diamond and mix with natural and import to everywhere. Oh my God, so you will have a mixing like that. And uh, I will introduce, this is uh, two provinces in China that create this uh, gem quality diamond. Before the 2011, there was a major industrial diamond. They just create industrial use diamond, the cutting the glass and the to, to use other purpose. However, they try to make more money to improve the instrument to create the more diamond like this. And uh, I will introduce in this uh, Henan province, this one of the big province, they have uh, three major manufacturers and uh, plus 10 small manufacturers. It means 13 manufacturers create the diamond like this. And uh, this is list for largest three. Please remember, this is one of the Huanghe Verling. Uh, Rolling, rolling, as this kanji. And the second one as a sino crystal, and the third one as a power, a lilian diamond. They create a small size, like a two millimeter size of the crystal, very small. After the cut, oh, it's down to 0 0.1, even down to 0 0.001. It's when you drop that, you couldn't find it, such small. And this province in the north, in Shandong, they create a much larger, like up to seven carat for the size, majorly for the color less. So uh, let me explain a little bit for this uh, Henan province. This is the very largest area. And uh, this is input area, the largest of three populars, and the uh, fifth largest economic province in China. And they have a very old city, has been fighting each other in the long time ago. I see it's some dynasty, some dynasty. It's, so that's why this is very famous for city town in, in this province. And uh, you look at their manufacturers, tremendous, countless instrument in this manufacturers, a large, very large, a lot of diamond, high pressure instrument inside. You see 3,500 high pressure instrument in this manufacturers and among them, 1,000 instrument used to create the gem quality diamond. So how many stones they can create like this? Five days, they create this number, 105,000 pieces, and uh, 41,000 carat, five days, just one week. It's a huge amount, but it's all in the melee size. You will see it like this, the Chinese cigarette. And the, after the cut, looks like this. And the smaller, uh, minimum usually it's 0 0.1 and up to 0 0.52. Like this range of the synthetic diamond. Okay. So do their color, it's all colorless? Wait a minute, not really. They have colorless diamond. Also they have a slightly different color hue, like this. They have a small amount of boron to create a bluish color. This boron, it's not from this, not intentionally added. It's just from this uh, metal flux in, as impurity. So they can create a slightly bluish. And when you have uh, nitrogen, of course, always create a yellow color. And uh, this too, they have slightly greenish and brownish all due to the nickel. This nickel is from the same metal flux. However, when borom have a more than nitrogen, it's going to show this uh, greenish color. If the borom less than nitrogen, it shows brownish. So normally when you see the Chinese synthetic diamond, you see the color less and see this kind of 
very tint color of it. And sure, this is uh, what we study, this um, synthetic dimer. Normally, hey, this is a very easy way to separate natural from the synthetic. If the synthetic diamond includes this uh, metallic inclusion, we are lucky, just use your magnet to pick up. So why? They have uh, three different type of metal inside. Please remember this, huh? Maybe test, maybe later we test it. So this is like a tube shape. This is a metallic inclusion inside. They show the luster also like a metal. Under the microscope, you can immediately can recognize that. If the diamond does not include any metal, so your magnet is useless. No any in, in, interaction for that. And uh, we have another two. It doesn't look like a metal. Looks like a dust type. And also some uh, like a pine tree branch, like this. So this is all metal inclusion as well. And uh, I tried to introduce one of the simple instrument. Nowadays it's selling uh, in Debius, also selling in the China. And uh, the cheapest instrument is from China. They're based on Debius instrument to create this uh, Gliese 3000 phosphorescence instrument. Please remember this instrument. If you use the buying or the selling a lot of diamond, try to pick up the synthetic diamond. I definitely recognize, definitely suggest you to buy this instrument. Uh, it's a, like a mm, 10,000 US dollar, like around. You can put the whole jewelry inside and uh, you will see how does it look. You look at this jewelry, and the uh, three pieces, it's a synthetic diamond. By microscope or neck eye, you never can find it. However, you put this diamond ring in the instrument, and it shows a very strong phosphorescence, like a, a greenish blue color. This is very important to pick up this kind of a strong phosphorescence stone. First, you have to pick up that. And if you have a bunch of the loose stone, all right, you can put it together at the same, same area. This is a three image, can be took by this instrument. This is visible photos. This is the fluorescence photos. And this one is phosphorescence. Normally, you see, when you use this uh, strong, UV, long way UV light, you will see the natural diamond mostly shows blue and yellow phosphorescence. A uh, fluorescence, sorry. However, the, the synthetic one doesn't show any fluorescence from China. That's good. And uh, after you switch off the fluorescence UV light, then you will get the phosphorescence light from the diamond. This is, I can say, almost 99% of the synthetic diamond from China they show this kind of strong blue-green phosphorescence. This is give you one signal to pick up that. And uh, this is a overlap between the visible photos, so you can exactly find where is the synthetic. Again, jewelry, again, the three pieces, the five pieces are synthetic. Can you tell that? No. So normally, it's the lab people, gemologists will test that. And we have uh, the DBS instrument. Also, we can look at the growth structure. Natural diamond is totally different with the synthetic diamond. Synthetic diamond, it's grow in the metal. As I said, metal flux. They have a very stable structure, like an octahedron and a cubic direction. So this is kind of a growth sector, can definitely show you the difference between the natural And the more technical instrument, which is Raman spectroscopy, that is a very uh, high technique for advanced instrument to use this uh, laser, green laser, blue laser, to check the defect in the diamond. So photoluminescence, we take the photoluminescence spectra, and we can detect the nickel. So uh, this nickel you never can see by your neck eye, However, this instrument can pick up this kind of a spectra to tell you, oh, 
This is uh, from exactly from the metal solvent. You can 100% diagonalize this one is a synthetic as well. And it's on the market always, it's uh, um, extremely, it's uh, just fr start from uh, before this pandemic, uh, COVID-19. It's a, uh, it was a 2018, uh, JCK always start first, and uh, they, they, they had more than 30 exhibitors to selling the synthetic diamond. I never, never saw such um, so many manu manufacturers, they start to selling the, the synthetic diamond. The, surprisingly, this is a list. Look at this, the US company is a 16 exhibitor, uh, uh, and the six uh, companies are selling HHT synthetic, and eight companies are selling the CBD diamond. And you see the Hong Kong manufacturers are three, the China are three, India are five, Belgium, Russia, and Canada. So this is a boost number, and this is all the company. They are selling the HPHT synthetic diamond, and they're also selling the CBD diamond. This is a really big amount. And uh, look at their production. Okay, so uh, the Russia new diamond company, they're selling very pure the type two diamond, the size up to 10 carats. And uh, you catch the cl color, E color, it's cl colorless. And uh, almost uh, it's very slightly included, very minor inclusion. And also, they're selling the blue diamond, dope, this is boron, to make a very fancy deep blue color like that. And uh, you see that some uh, China manufacturers, this is the second largest uh, in the Henan province, Sino Crystal, they're selling the colorless and the yellow diamond. And, uh, Hong Kong company, they majorly uh, selling the colorless. I'm 100% sure the Hong Kong company, they're selling the production from China. I don't think they have uh, the manufacturer to do it. And looking at other booths, they're selling the CVD diamond. CVD diamond, I will explain later. So you see, uh, we have the US company, Washington Diamond. Now we have a, a unique a lab grown diamond from USA and a pure grown diamond. This is all made by the CVD process. And they have a near colorless, it's a such a very fancy pink color, and uh, they make a very extremely colorless diamond as well. I didn't show the photos here. So, and uh, this is a, every year, the exhibitor, producer, uh, becomes more and more. Let me show the uh, numbers. Every year, we have such a market scale of the gem industry that selling the price 80 billion to 100 billion. One year we are selling the natural diamond and included synthetic diamond. However, the synthetic diamond, it's just uh, at the moment several hundred million. And the natural, oh, this is a down, okay. Uh, every year so we're looking at the Argyle mine, we get Botswana mine, looking at the other uh, Lesotho mine, and uh, we improve, well, we include this whole natural diamond production. Every year, we just have 142 million carat for rough crystal. And synthetic diamond is 4.2 million. And it's mean, it's sheer 3% for the whole diamond at the moment. After the couple of years, up to 2030, it's going to the 10%. More and more synthetic diamond comes up to the market. Be careful. And uh, I changed my second talk to the CVD diamond. Uh, maybe some people already know the CVD diamond. It's extremely different process what I explained for HPHT synthetic diamond. CVD diamond, it's made by gas. HPHC synthetic diamond made by the metal solvent. It's totally different. CVD diamond, they don't need a high pressure. They don't need a high temperature. Very simple instrument. Let me show you. This is one of the illustration to show there is a microwave to create a plasma cloud in this area. It's around 800. Celsius. 
And we have a gas here to reaction to each other. Like a hydrogen with a methane gas, they put together to make a chemical reaction break down from the carbon with hydrogen. Then they deposit the carbon on the, the surface of the sea crystal. This kind of sea crystal can be used like a synthetic diamond or natural diamond or silicon as well as a seed. You will see like this. The CBD diamond has been developed in 1980s. The Japanese company, uh, Japanese university called J uh, Japan University, Nihon Daigaku, uh, they first made the synthetic diamond by CBD, it's by sake, alcohol. Japanese sake, they made the CBD diamond. Nowadays, the Japanese company Seki, they create the best pure CBD diamond for the film. They never create a single crystal. They just make a film. This film can be used optical instrument like FTIR, this uh, like a infrared uh, beam splitter. That is a used CBD diamond film. So you're looking at the inside, we see the hydrogen and the methane gas can be make active to react to each other. And methane can be the methylene and they have a more uh, lower temperature and uh, the, the carbon can drop on the top of the seed. And you will see a lot of instrument like this. You just make a lot of instrument to make it much smaller. This is the picture from the uh, SCO. It's a former Apollo diamond. Apollo diamond is a pioneer to create the CBD gem quality diamond in USA. And this is the inside. You can see the countless is a lot of CBD instrument to create the CBD diamond. And look at the inside. So once they can use more than 40 seed to create a 40 crystal, even up to 50 to make a synthetic diamond. So five days, you will get 40 crystal like this. And after that, the shape like this. Normally, the natural diamond, as I mentioned before, octahedron. Most of diamonds, they have this shape. However, the CV diamond, its grow start from 001 phase. It's not from the 111 phase. It's totally different. So that's why it's a flat, like that. And uh, you will see here, it is a nano polycrystalline. It's a small diamond get together in this area. And in the center, it becomes a very clean single crystal. And how can we use that? All right, we put as a hole. Uh, the CVD diamond here, and we have a laser beam just a sewing to cut it to make a cylinder. Then we're going to polish that to make this kind of CVD diamond. However, the first market they showed us uh, from the Apollo diamond in 2003. We see the first brown CVD diamond on the market. Mm, brown, it's not uh, really welcome. However, they use a very, just five days to create the CVD diamond and very uh, economically, better than HPHT grown. And uh, the size, it's a 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. It's not so big. Then, same Apollo diamond in 2006 to 2007. I said, hey, wait a minute. How can, you, can I improve this color? Maybe I try to remove the brown to the colorless. Then they bring this bronze CVD diamond, put in the HPHT diamond high pressure instrument, like HPHT treatment, to remove the bronze to make a colorless like this. So that's why the color is almost EF, extremely a fuse inclusion inside, and uh, also the jewelry on it. But this is a very, um, people start to buy it. Mostly they promote in the USA as well. And then later, okay, Argyle Diamond almost closed, no any more production. I tried to make a similar color, less Argyle Pink Diamond. And 
they do the irradiation, then anneal this diamond up to 1,000 degree to create this kind of pink. So CVD diamond originally start from the brown. After the treatment, they can make a colorless. After the irradiation and heating, they can make a pink as well. And uh, this is Genesis, another uh, Genesis. They also created a lot of HBHT synthetic diamond. They start to create a CVD as well. And uh, they do the more larger one up to, after the cut, the size up to 0.9 carat. It's a little bit bigger. And uh, you see the clarity IF. Ooh, you cannot find any included inside. Very pure, extremely high technique. And they try to, I try to make a blue as well as HPHT. I dope the boron inside to make a CVD diamond. So, oh, all colors there. And they can start from brown to make a colorless and or, or some yellow or the orange. And this is Debius. They use their own technique to create the CVD diamond to show we are can, can also create the CVD diamond, but we don't sell. We just show our capability. It can create the all different color of the CDV CVD diamond, as, like that. This one of the example, as a jury, also include one piece of CVD diamond. Can you check that? No way. Even the neck eye or microscope, no way to tell that. Normally, when you see the look CVD diamond, right after the grown, you will see this kind of the dark graphite-like. This is non-diamond carbon. It's not like a diamond structure. So you can see the pinpoint of like this. This is the first production. However, when you see the look at the, the IF CVD diamond, you never can find this kind of black inclusion. And when you're going to look at the, the diamond under the polariscope, different light way, under the polariscope, you will see the bunch of the refringents like this. It's because of the, the growth so fast, they have a distortion. So you will see this kind of very strong birefringence. So polariscope help you to see this. Uh, oh, this is maybe the CVD diamond. One minute, you, will, you have to stop that as well. And another technique, how to find the CVD diamond. This is a diamond of view instrument, as I showed before. You can look at the internal growth structure. As I said, every people have a different fingerprint. When you crime, you go into this uh, jail, they put 10 fingers to recognize you are. Diamond also have a different fingerprint. All natural diamond never shows same pattern. But the CVD diamond, interesting. You see, the, they show the very strong red fluorescence. Oh, wow. you never see such uh, strong red fluorescence. Argyle pink diamond, they show a little bit weaker than this. And this, we try to see the very tiny growth structure. It's difficult to see. Uh, let me go uh, from the side of view. You see, layer by layer. This is definitely, oh, I am the CVD diamond. You never see the structure in the natural. You never see the structure in HPHT synthetic diamond. The different growth structure, different environment. So this one, it's help you. Very important. However, as I said, CVD diamond mostly they show the brown color right after the grown. They try to remove the brown to make a colorless. Actually, this red fluorescence very help us to pick up the CVD diamond. It's very interesting because natural diamond never shows us a strong red fluorescence to help the lab gemologist to pick up that. However, mm, after the Treatment, sorry, uh, let me, um, this slide. The so red color is gone, destroyed by HPHT process. So you only see this kind of uh, bluish green or much 
a greenish uh, uh, fluorescent color under the, the diamond view instrument. So uh, you never can see the, such a red color anymore. After the treatment, your CVD diamond never shows a red color. Please remember that. So, and uh, lab people, sure, we definitely use uh, a lot of instrument, optical instrument. Uh, you see, uh, this is FTIR, the infrared range. CVD diamond, they show there's a hydrogen. So the hydrogen adds the 3,123 wave numbers in this area. Natural diamond, 3107. This is very important to tell you the differences. It's slightly, it's a, the very close, but it's a different. Natural diamond never shows this one, and the CVD diamond never shows this. But after the treatment, after the CVD diamond treated, by high pressure, high temperature, this will be gone, disappear, and show the same structure with natural diamond. It shows the, this same peak as well. So I don't say this is 100%. If you detect this one, lucky, this is the CVD diamond. If without this one, you just have this, you cannot say 100% is natural. Be careful. After the treatment, this one shift to here. So this is problem, and uh, this is 100% tell that this is by the photoluminescence, as I explained. Uh, it's the wave numbers, it's near the 736. They show the silicon with the vacancy, minus. They show the double peak here, and uh, this one, it's unknown uh, uh, defect. Uh, it's near the 596. They show these two double peaks. So on your photoluminescence, if you detect this sh these two peaks, 100% is synthetic. So uh, this is very help us. And the synthetic diamond, it's uh, have all colors and the size going to up to carat and clarity up to the IF. So uh, they become the more uh, commercial production day by day. So uh, in India, after the USA, India will become the major country to produce a CVD diamond. The China is a major to make a small synthetic diamond in the world nowadays. So uh, I will thank a couple of my colleagues when I work with the GIA team. And uh, this is a central gem laboratory that offers a couple of photos for me. And also very strongly thanks to this, uh, this uh, industry support center to invite me to come in here, and also thanks Hami to have a good dialogue with me. Thank you so much. This is my talk.